everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is the latest drama going down with the sex video and cheating scandal that is Tom Sandoval, Ariana Maddox, and Raquel, aka Rachel, it's going down. She has officially sent a legal threat to the cast of Vanderpump Rules. She is trying to play the victim in all of this. We're going to break it down. But before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% free and I send you some great self-care and self-love content. And yeah, it's just a fun time. So with that, let's dive right on in. So as we previously reported on this, Raquel's PR strategy had been leaked. And I'm going to do that first. I'm going to quickly go over what her new PR strategy was going to be since, in my opinion, you know, using common sense and our candy cane critical thinking caps, I believe her PR team fired her and dropped her. The reason why I think that is this. Raquel and Tom had the same exact publicist prior to the affair going public. That would then create a conflict of interest for the publicist to then represent both Raquel and Tom if the strategy is to blame the other person. You know, it's like saying if you if two people robbed a bank and they had the same lawyer but the strategy was to blame it on the other person, they could no longer have the same lawyer represent them because now it's a conflict of interest with the clients. So I think that the PR people that she originally had fired her and let her go. She then went on and hired Erica Jane's publicist, Jack, the same exact Jack that was involved in the leaking of the Kathy Hilton, Lisa Rinna, Aspen, drama, all of that debacle, right? Just to be a big distraction from Erica Jane. Now, it was leaked. And this is what's on the screen, you guys. And don't worry, I'm going to read through everything. So if you can't read it, I got you. So yesterday or the day before, it was leaked on Dumas what her PR strategy was going to be. So let's first dive into that. And then we'll get into the fact that she had her legal team send a legal threat or a legal like you better not letter to the Vanderpump Rules cast, okay? So let's start out with a quick review of her PR strategy. Now, this breakdown is from Reality Blurb. So according to a recent source, Raquel replaced her legal team. Again, I'm pretty sure she was fired. And she is hoping to craft the narrative that Tom Sandoval took advantage of her during their reported affair amid his relationship with Ariana Maddox. Vanderpump Rules castmates Lala Kent, Katie Maloney, and Kristen Doty slammed Raquel over the allegation while a fan showed alleged documentation that Raquel's real name is Rachel. In a Dumas post shared by at Best of Bravo, a source alleged Raquel fired her PR. Again, I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure she got fired. I'm pretty sure they let her go because if you think about it, if her and Tom had the same publicist, that's probably the same publicist that Tom Schwartz has. So if I'm the publicist, I'm not going to fire Tom Sandoval in order to keep Raquel. I'm going to fire Raquel in order to keep Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz because they have a lot more projects together. And unfortunately, I think Tom Sandoval has a bigger chance of bouncing back from this than Raquel. Because usually it's the woman who does the worst, who in the end loses the most in these types of situations, right? Also, the publicist has represented Tom and Tom for way longer. You know, Tom and Tom have been on the scene for, you know, however many years Vanderpump Rules has been on. And Raquel really just really got on the scene. She just got boosted up to like a full-time person. So if I'm logically thinking, 
the publicist would say, I now have a conflict of interest between the two of these people. I'm going to go with the client that is making me the most money. I'm going to go with the client that is attached to other clients I have. And I'm going to go with the client who's probably going to come out of this less scathe, right? Anyway, let's keep going. Um, dun, 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 dun. Where were we? Okay. So, which happened to be the same team representing Sandoval exactly? Her new team is already on the offensive, crafting the narrative that Raquel is also a victim in all of this. When she films with Sandoval later today, she's been advised and is planning to break things off with him, said the source. To, um, TBD if that happens. The plan is then to go after him for screen recording the FaceTime sex session without Raquel's consent, which was uncovered by Ariana on Sandoval's phone and led to the unraveling of events. They're planning to allege that Sandoval took advantage of Raquel while she was in a vulnerable moment in life, clouding her judgment, then recording intimate videos without her knowledge, the source continued. They also claim Raquel will go on an apology tour afterward, though she's alleging more, though allegedly she's more concerned with, quote, correcting the record on the finger banging video than taking accountability. And just for the record, she didn't have these ideas nor plans to distance from Sandoval until her new PR relayed their strategy to try and save her image, said the source. That's what's on the screen. That is what has been leaked. OK, now that is now coming to fruition. OK, we this was what was um, leaked the other day, and it has now been reported that Raquel has sent a legal letter basically saying this and threatening anybody on the Vanderpump Rules cast. We'll get into that. I just wanted to make sure you guys had this foundation of the setup from beginning, from the beginning, okay? Now, we talked about this, but I'll say it again. This strategy, to me, is not going to be able to work. You know, we talked about it yesterday. It's not going to be able to work because the cat is too far out of the bag. Number one, if, according to every single report up until um, her fake PR strategy, didn't ever didn't didn't it say that Raquel was the one who sent the video to Tom. So if Raquel sent the video to Tom, then how was that a screen recorded sex video? That's her finger banging herself, taking the video and then sending it to him. That's not him screen recording it. I kind of feel like this whole FaceTime screen record thing is like a made up story they're putting together. Doesn't make any sense at all. And then secondly, it's really disrespectful to people who really are victims of sexual exploitation, right? You know, it's, 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 it's really, really, really like, yeah, it's, it's really disrespectful to people who really have gone through something where they've been sexually exploited. Very disrespectful just to cover up for themselves. You know what I mean? All right, let's keep going on this. After sharing the report, Kristen wrote, she's not even slightly sorry, disgusting. Lala also addressed the allegations, speculating that Raquel's team is trying to make her look dumb. She's at, she added that the strategy will not work. The mother of one also suggested she could get a cut of Raquel's PR money because she created Raquel's um, obliv <laughs> oblivious to life image. She also declared in another post, I tried to tell ya she is sick. Someone call her mama. Her co-star Katie called the called out the report, claiming it's an example of more nefarious behavior, 100%. She also shared a message of support to Ariana. You're going to thrive like you like you were always meant to. Exactly. Sheena Shea declared her similar support writing always got your back. She called herself Team Ariana. Ooh, 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 ooh. An absolute mess. All right. Now, let's get into the fact that she sent the legal letter to the cast. OK, now this is according to page six. All right. Here we go. Let's get into it. Raquel is taking action against her Vanderpump Rules co-stars who may have who may have obtained a recording of her intimate FaceTime session with Tom that ended his relationship with Ariana. 
Raquel had her attorneys send a legal letter to cast members imploring them to delete the video and stop sending it around as the 20-year-old claims it was recorded, quote, illegally without her knowledge or consent, TMZ reported on Tuesday. Raquel's lawyer cited a California law against revenge P, which makes it a crime to invade someone's privacy by disseminating non-consensual pography. Although the letter specifically demands the video not be passed around, it reportedly does not state that Sandoval 39 recorded it. Okay, side note. I'm not a lawyer, but we have common sense, and we're going to put on our candy cane critical thinking cats. The reason why the letter does not specifically say that Tom Sandoval recorded it, in my personal opinion, is because he didn't. In my opinion, I think she recorded it and she sent it to him. And this is just their PR way of, you know, trying to spin it. Because if they're citing the California law of, you know, revenge P, then the person who created the, the sex video allegedly without her consent, again, I don't believe that part. I I do. I think one thing, I think if he did it, she consented to it. And I also think that she probably just did it. Then why isn't she not pressing charges against Tom? Why isn't she suing Tom? Because Tom would be the one who violated her rights by recording her without her consent. So he would be the one, he would be the criminal. Why is she not pressing charges against Tom if she was so vulnerable and if she didn't consent to this? Why, why is nothing happening to Tom, but you're sending a letter to the rest of the cast telling them not to send it around? And then in the legal letter, she never said that Tom actually was the one who took the video. Because I think there's a big difference between what you can say in a press release versus what you can say in a legal document. Because if you know what I'm saying? I don't think that they legally can say Tom took the video because then wouldn't that be lying in my personal opinion? Because if he took it, why not say it in the legal video? I mean, in the legal document. You can lie in a press release all day long. Look at Diana Jenkins. She lied about giving away 100K to the victims. That never happened. You can lie in a press release all day long. But I don't think the lawyers would lie in a legal document. And that's why they're not saying Tom took it, because this is all a bunch of BS. It's all a bunch of BS. Let's keep going. The lawyers ordered anyone in possession of the recording to promptly delete it from their phones and cloud the phones to cloud or any manner or method in which the recording may exist, according to the outlet. Neither Raquel's rep nor her attorney immediately returned Page Six's request for comment. Page Six reported last Friday that Ariana found out about Raquel and Tom, found out Raquel and Tom were having a months-long affair after seeing the sexually explicit video on his phone. A source told us that Maddox was left heartbroken and she had no idea there were any issues in her nearly decade-long relationship with the bar owner. Now, we've talked about this. I think she knew there was issues, but I don't think she thought that he was having an affair with Raquel. I think she knew there were issues, but I think she was holding out hope that they could get the relationship back on track, okay? It says she was blindsided by the cheating. Again, I think she knew that he was cheating, but maybe not with Raquel. And denial is a very, very strong coping mechanism. And I'm not blaming her. You know, it's natural to not want to see or admit or accept that the person you love, you know, isn't being good to you, might be cheating on you, you know? The source shared, adding that Maddox and Sandoval had been affectionate in public recently. Not just recently, they were affectionate the, literally the night she found the video. The insider noted that Maddox feels betrayed by Raquel, whom she considered a friend. Although the Bravo show cast has been vocal with their outrage on social media, there will be more to come on TV later this year as cameras have been rolling on the fallout of the affair. Yes, they have been filming basically every single day since this came out. 
The network gave fans a behind-the-scenes look of James Kennedy filming a confessional Monday for an upcoming episode. A clapperboard held in front of the DJ's face revealed, revealed the scene called Scandaval would be part of the series' ongoing 10th season. We have resumed filming of Pump Rules, and the story will be unfolding on camera. Bravo captioned in the snap shot. So we are going to see it. But yes, she is actually following through with this playing the victim PR stunt and move, which isn't surprising since her publicist is the same publicist as Erica Jane. You know, we broke that the other day. Ugh. I want to know what you guys think. I really do. You know, I know what I think, but I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. I think that this is adding insult to injury. I think it's very disgusting. And I think it also shows a lack of remorse and a lack of accountability. Raquel, Tom, in my opinion, again, this is just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. I think they both consensually probably sent each other, you know, sexting, sex, you know, sex text videos, playing with themselves, you know, sexy nudes, whatever the case may be, doing, you know, virtual FaceTime sex sessions, sure. But I don't believe that Tom did anything against Raquel that was not consensual. Like, I don't believe he took the video of this without her consent. Because if he did, why is she not pressing charges against him? How come in the legal document... It did not say that he was the one who actually even took the video in question. Why is it that the legal document was is only sent to the rest of the cast member saying, do not share it? I'm confused by that. I'm confused. And the disgusting part to me is like we've seen, you know, with other Bravo shows, you know, what happened in Potomac and Beverly Hills and on and on where they're really playing around with people who are actual victims. Either they have their own victims, like Jin Shaw and Erica, or they play like they're victims for storylines like Giselle and Ashley and Robin even. It's, it's enough. It's, like, it's, it's enough. It's too much. I think it's really messed up. And in this particular situation, I blame Raquel the most. Because she's now trying to play the victim on this. I don't think this strategy is going to work. We see through it. And also too much information has already been leaked. We already know too many details for this strategy to fly. And if he did this to you, then how come he was coming into your house on Saturday night? And we're going to get into that because there's a new story on E! News about it. But stick around, my candy canes, because we are going to get into it, okay? We're going to get into it. We have two more stories after this one, okay? But before we do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend, because a key key is always better with community. And check out my description box down below and join our newsletter. You get a ton of free self-care content. All right. So with that, let's move on to our second story. So this one is all about, quote, the real reason why.